Are you ready? It's said that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Having coached individuals ranging from construction workers to corporate executives over the past 20 years or so, I've run into this situation frequently. When I work with an individual who sought me out, usually by word of mouth from a friend or a coworker, to facilitate some change he or she wants to affect in their world, I'd say in most instances, this is a ready student. But when I'm engaged in a business setting to work with a team, well, the students come in a variety of readiness, from open to new ideas, to skeptical, to downright resistant. It feels like the teacher appears and, well, now what do we do? Remember that required course you had to take in school? Sometimes I have felt like that teacher. Under both circumstances, I have to work with individuals. Certainly with the solo student who's trying to reorganize something in their life, well, it's a one-on-one -on -one exercise with usually clear aspirations. To the team I've been engaged with to work with, though, it's multidimensional. It's each individual is a component of that whole, and there is a team aspiration, frequently communication issues affecting outcomes, that can be challenging if we can't affect some individual changes along the way. So I end up coaching individuals who didn't engage me to affect an outcome for a manager or a business owner who did. It is then in the exercise's best interest for me to facilitate improving students' readiness. Some come prepared and interested in the adventure, others simply do not. In most cases, I've been successful, as evidenced by outcome metrics, in getting this to work. There are some easy button exercises that I can give for homework that actually get tested, but usually in the home rather than in the team environment. And they're prone to be effective and entertaining. Well, this frequently has a positive effect on the student's attitude toward learning. The measurement of ready there is twofold. The student's willingness to set aside ironclad premises he may have had that prevent him from testing alternatives, and the degree to which the student can specify what he wants in return for setting aside some of those life rules. With those in place, I can fairly accurately predict how the engagement will work out. Teachers without ready students is a challenge I believe we have in our education system nationally. I can empathize with the teachers, only I can't send non-learners to the principal's office. Know what you want? Are you ready? Find a coach. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.